Hey guys, Dr. Nate here, Thrive Dental Orthodontics, and I am officially getting my Invisalign on today. It's a big day, so I'm gonna talk to you about the process of getting the Invisalign attachments on, getting the trays, how to take the trays on and off. I know that's something that people ask quite often, how we take care of the Invisalign trays, the whole process, kind of how it works. So I'm gonna guide you through that. So key the theme music, and right as we come back, I'll show you how I get the attachments put on, how I take care of the Invisalign trays, and my process. So the question is this, how do we get better, more informed patients and run successful businesses? How can I get the information I've learned from opening multiple dental offices and treating thousands of patients out to you? Those are the questions and my weekly videos will give you the answers. My name is Dr. Nate and welcome to the Thrive Dental and Orthodontics channel. All right guys, so let me walk you through this. I'm getting the attachments on right now. I am getting the etch put on the teeth. So you're gonna recognize and realize that this is very, very similar to when you get braces on, basically the exact same process, but instead of, attachment, or instead of braces, it's attachments. So she, this is Sharon who's helping me out here. She is putting on this etch, it is this blue etch that helps us see exactly where the etch is. And we keep it on there for maybe like 20 or 30 seconds or so, just to get this kind of frosty white appearance. So she's gonna take off all this etch with a high suction vacuum. We don't wanna get this etch Kind of anywhere on the gums or in the mouth or in the back of the throat. <laughs> you don't want any of that stuff to happen. So she's etched it, she's taken away all the etch, and now she's blow drying, um, or air drying, sorry, the teeth. You're gonna see a frosty white appearance after that is done. She puts on this uh, little bit of bond, and the bond we put on, and then we air dry it. So it's a nice thin layer. I actually remember the smell of this, and it smelled pretty good, <laughs> the bond. But anyway, she puts on the bond, um, makes a thin layer, then she cures it with a curing light. This is very similar to what you'll see at maybe a nail salon, that blue light, very, very similar. She has the composite or the glue already in these trays, the trays that I'm basically gonna put on, and now she's curing it. So she puts the, the glue in the tray, puts the tray in, it fits really nice, and then you glue those attachments on the teeth, and that is how it works. That is how we get those attachments in that very, very specific place that when you put in your trays, it actually fits. So she's doing a great job of curing all the teeth, making sure that everything is nice and on there really, really well. We cure for roughly like five seconds-ish per tooth because we have a high, um, a powerful curing light. And that's it, the attachments are on. That is how easy peasy it is, kind of like braces. Attachments are on and now we're on to the next part. Okay, attachments are on, so I'm putting on my first tray. So I just have the top, it's pretty straightforward. I don't know if you can see all the attachments, kind of hard to see, but I think I have like four or five or six, something like that on the top. So putting in the trays, relatively straightforward. Let's see if I can put it in. Oh, oh, there you go. Boom, it's in. So I always tell people that when they first put them in, and this is fun because I get to do it for myself, when you first put them in, you want to make sure you're you're pushing on really, really well. For me, I like to grab something like a piece of Kleenex or something where I can bite on and kind of keep seeding the trays because you want the trays to really, really fit well to the teeth. So putting them on also is relatively straightforward. Um, I'm trying to talk normal. You do talk a little funny when you're pronouncing certain T's and S's and, and, and those type of words, but I'm worth trying my best. This is the very first day I've got them on. I'm sure it's gonna get better and better. Uh, to talk normally. Uh, so how do we take them off? That is a question people ask quite often. In order to take them off, you go from the back uh, first. You'll back, 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 forward. So if I go from the back, I'll probably do a different angle so you can see a little bit better. I go back. And take them off just like that. Not so hard, not so hard to do. And then from the opposite, when I put them back in, I'm gonna go from the front back. Back. So pretty, pretty darn easy peasy. Just remember when you're taking them off, take them off from the back first. It just prevents the trays from snapping. So that's the easiest thing. So taking them on and off, relatively straightforward, relatively easy. You will get a new patient packet, we should, anyway, for every Invisalign start. So it comes in something like this, nice and pretty. Invisalign is up their game. It's really nice and pretty. In this package, you will have, let me show you. You have some instructions up here and then you'll have the trays, um, sorry, the case right here and some cleaning crystals right here. This case is meant for whenever you take off your trays. So you're gonna have your trays on for 22, to 22 hours a day. Uh, whenever they're not in your mouth, boom, they're gonna be in this pretty little case. 
These are cleaning crystals. I don't think I'm gonna use them that much, but you can use them if your trays really get nasty and gross. I don't think they're gonna get that gross over a week, but maybe when you're going through the transition from the first set of trays to the next set of trays and you have that one tray for you know three or four or five weeks, maybe you're gonna use the cleaning crystals, but I don't think I'm gonna use them, but this is where they are if you need them and this is the instructions. So that is pretty easy. This is all the info that you will get. You're also gonna get a bunch of trays. This is what we see in the back. We have a lot of trays and they all come in here. Each tray is numbered, so it's really easy to see which is which. I only have five trays, so they come in something like so. It's all numbered there, so you can't really mess it up. Like I said, I only have five trays, so hopefully within the five trays, everything is gonna be done and it's gonna be really easy. To care for these things, all you have to do is you take out the trays and you rinse them with warm, soapy water with a toothbrush, you just go over it to make sure it's nice and clean, and then you put it back in your mouth. Remember, you're taking these things off to eat, brush, and floss. Other than that, they're in there. We're shooting for 22 hours a day, so just as long as you do it for 22 hours, your results should be very, very good, but that is what we're shooting for. So now you know. You know how the process goes, you know how we put on attachments, you know how to take on and off the trays, you know how to clean them, you know what we see behind the scenes, you're gonna see all of these boxes here with all the trays. You're gonna see the starter packet. So you have it all right there. So I will give another video in five weeks or so when all the treatment is done. Hopefully it looks really, really good, nice and pretty. And as you know, I'm trying to answer all your questions. So questions and comments, you can put them below. Please subscribe. As you know, I'm putting out videos every single week. So I look forward to the next video.